Runway has just released a brand new feature to its Gen 3 model, and I'm having so much fun experimenting with it. What you can do is you can take a base video and apply a brand new style on top. Now, this is allowing us to create a whole host of different creative effects so that any style that you can imagine, you can create. And what's fantastic about this is it gives us precise control over the composition, the direction, and the narrative of our footage, meaning that we have a whole host of new creative opportunities. In this video, I'm going to show you what are some of the possible ways to use this tool, demonstrating some of the most beautiful examples coming out already. And then we're going to move into exploring how we can use this ourselves. I'll demonstrate some of the experiments that I've tried out and tell you how to get the most out of this tool, because there are a number of things that you'll want to avoid and a number of tips that will help you to get a usable and beautiful example. And we're also going to have a sneak peek at the upcoming Adobe Firefly video model at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that too. So let's dive in to the next frontier of AI video making together. Now, what's wonderful about this new feature is that you can use simple props, anything fairly rudimentary, like a wig, and suddenly you can turn yourself into a bodacious, beautiful lady. Now, you can easily take other rudimentary objects and blocks and really have a lot of creative fun with this. But why is this important? Well, it's unlocking Hollywood-level special effects for very low cost. So previously, the way that Hollywood films were created, were using these expensive sets with huge green screens and blue screens. Now we can create our own similar effects on an incredibly low budget. If you're new here, I'm AI Samson, and on this channel, we explore the new possibilities of creativity with AI. There are a number of exciting use cases for this technology, and I'm going to show you some of the best examples that other people have made. This will also demonstrate the different ways that you can use this tool. So first up, we have Rory Flynn. And here we can see the power of Runway Gen 3 vid to vid to take a video and export it in various different styles. Everything from line drawings to black and white to more stylized and artistic outputs. Now, this can be super useful for a number of different circumstances. For example, here in this edition shown by Rory, you can see how you can take a product and demonstrate it in different scenarios. So this execution demonstrates how you can see a walking boot being used through autumn and winter. And you get this lovely effect of changing the scene but keeping the subject the same. Next up, we have a fantastically creative example from Martin Nebelong. Now, what Martin is doing is he has been using his VR headset and a drawing app to create a video. He has then taken this and put it into Runway Gen 3. So you can see that he is painting in augmented reality and then he is generating a video on top of that using Runway Gen 3. So this is an incredibly creative way to explore merging different mediums together. He said, I was sculpting with pass through on my Quest 3 VR headset using Gravity Sketch and the Logitech MX Ink VR Pen. I recorded it while doing that and then transformed the video with Runway Gen 3. It's a wonderful example of taking new mediums and combining them in a creative way. Next up, we have VQ. VQ. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this name. VQ. And they have another couple of very interesting examples. Now, the first is a fashion example. And what we have here is the protagonist having their outfits changed. So you can see them in different outfits. And this is a beautiful way to be able to take a scene and quickly make subtle adjustments to the style of your characters. Now, in a architectural exploration, VQ has shown how we can change the materials of a architectural structure and see how this affects the designs. Now, this one is particularly wonderful, the glimmering lights on top of this almost a Zaha Hadid inspired building. Now, this will be wonderful for pitching to architectural clients, but also in other situations, if you are creating your own house or building sculptural work. Now, you can find all of these creators on X. I've made sure to put all of their handles on screen so you can go and check out more of their wonderful work. Next up, we have Mojon One. Now, this one from Mojon One is one of the most exciting because what they have done is they've taken a rudimentary cinema 4D export and then they've run that through 
Runway Gen 3 vid to vid and the output is absolutely stunning. Now next up we have Zast at Zast57 and here in the top right hand corner you can see the original video and below you can see the type of export that he has managed to create by overlaying different effects via runway. So here he is in a desert scene and he's using this very rudimentary object. It's uh, simply a block and he's able to make this to be quite a central focal point of the entire work. Next up we have Max Einhorn at Max Einhorn. He's demonstrating some of the catfishing opportunities for runway where you can see that in the original footage, he's got a much older woman who is generated into a younger lady, taking at least 30 years off of here. And here he is creating his own Western style film. This is a particularly beautiful example with the atmosphere and the quality of lighting and aesthetic in the output video being quite literally stunning. And he's doing this all with a simple Nerf gun. Now in this example from Vaggy Man on Instagram, we have seen how he's taken some gameplay from Fortnite and overlaid different styles from it. And this is actually going to be a very interesting way to generate some wonderful narratives where we are creating the gameplay in open world games and then we're overlaying a consistent style to that piece. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at this car driving. It's beautiful. It's a really engaging and playful shot. So make sure to check out Vague Man. Now I'll also show you a couple of examples that I have created. Here is one of me. This is the original footage of me meditating by the river. And I have been able to output this into a few different styles. Here's one of a slightly more dramatic look. This one is with a more futuristic, playful feel. And here is me as a knitted doll. That's just what I always wanted to be. And in another example, here is me swimming on a table. And of course I put myself underwater, but as you can see, it didn't quite work with me being still on top of this platform. And again, here's one of me in some clouds. Now here is another one that I experimented with. This is me in a <laughs> interesting outfit coming through at the door. And I created a few different examples with that. This one is more of a Middle Eastern style man. So as you can see, there are various ways that you can make the most of vid to vid in Gen 3. So you can think about using rudimentary props. You can think about taking existing stock footage and overlaying new styles across them. You can also take green screen footage, which works really well. So here, in this example, we can see an individual performing a very exaggerated walk, and then they're completely transformed into different situations. Now you can also think about using augmented reality as well as simply creating game footage and recording that and applying new effects over it. But how do we do all of these things? Well, let's dive in and take a closer look at how this works. So once you come to Runway Gen 3, you come into the video studio, make sure you go to Gen 3 Alpha, and then you're going to upload a video. Now, this video can be up to 10 seconds long, and it has to be at the moment in an aspect ratio of 16 by nine. So you can go to this. I will select one of these videos that I made earlier. Now, a couple of tips to get the most out of this that I have discovered is firstly, Make sure that you're using something with large obvious elements, that anything that's too detailed or too fine or with too many different things going on in the shot, you are going to get a less desirable output. Secondly, it's also good to have things moving fairly slowly. So you can even slow things down and use slow motion. So here I have me dressed up as a wizard with a sword. Now, once you've uploaded, your driving video, you can't describe the style that you want. There is a number of examples which are very useful for exploring. And these give you a number of different effects that have already been tried out by the runway team and are known to give decent results. And this includes a 3D cartoon, a claymation effect, a dramatic style, a glass style, a line art style, a makeup style, a monochrome style, a puppet style, a retro style, and a yarn style. Now, yarn is this woven doll style that I showed you earlier. Now I found dramatic to be a very good base, especially because you can then adapt the prompt to yourself. So after you click apply, the prompt goes into the box and you can edit it to your liking. So I'm going to turn myself into a medieval soldier in full armor. Now, once you're happy with the prompt, all you have to do is go ahead and press generate. Now it costs 10 credits for one second to generate in runway. Now the only 
parameter that you can adjust inside of this is in settings. And down here, you have a parameter called structure transformation. And higher values result in greater change to your input structure, while lower values will be closer to your input. Now I can show you the effect of this parameter. So this was the driving video. And then this one was with a low degree of transformation structure. And as you can see, it keeps the structure of the buildings in the background here. And in this one, there is a much higher degree. And you can see that it's changed the buildings into coral. So if you want to have more of a transformation, put the number up higher. Now I found that for middle of the road, 50 is pretty good. And here you can see the output that we've got from me. So this is me as a medieval soldier. And you can see it does very well at creating a wonderful type of scene, but where it falls down is as soon as there starts to be too much movement. So the key here is playing to the strengths of this tool, understanding when you're going to get the most out of it and when not. And I've certainly found that when you have larger headshots, it performs much better, and also when you're moving slowly. Now, Runway has also recently displayed the power of creating VFX inside of Runway. In this demonstration, they use a disposable camera, a throwaway camera, to create some very stylized still images. And then what they do is they take these and they put them into Runway, and they generate videos based off of the still images. So they're taking real life still images like these. They then turn them into short clips, generate these, and then they're able to apply extra effects on top of those. So you can take this driving video and change them. Now this displays the possibilities of merging real footage with special effects, giving us a whole host of creative controls. Now here is another example of the generative VFX inside of Runway, where this man is running across the shot and they're able to apply a wonderful different set of effects on top of the video. Now the quality of realism coming out of Runway now is absolutely mesmerizing. And it's getting to the point where it is almost indistinguishable from real life. Now, in other exciting news, the competition in the AI video space is heating up. And Adobe has announced that we're very close to getting our hands on their Firefly video model. And they've teased us with some demonstrations of the interface, which we can see here, and also some previews of the videos that are being generated inside of Firefly. And here you can see that they have some stunning examples and they are on par, if not better than Runway. Let's just take a look at this dog here, absolutely stunning. Now the quality and the aesthetic of the videos that we see coming out of Firefly look to be cinematic, beautiful, and coherent. Here we have a very unusual couple of characters dancing. Now here we have some very realistic flames and we're seeing the vast array of different styles that it's possible to create videos with inside of Adobe. Now they have said that we can apply for the beta and that these tools are going to be available before the end of the year. Now if we simply observe the UI of this, you can see that we get a few interesting features. For example, there is going to be a frames per second tool, which we're allowed to define the number of frames per second that we would want in our video. You can see here that it's allowing us to also select the model. Now they've previously stated that they may well collaborate with other video model generators so that you can use various different video generation models inside of Adobe products. Now what's also exciting is the demonstration of how Adobe's video generation models will fit into their other existing softwares. Here you can see in Premiere Pro the ability to take a clip and extend it. So if your clip is too short you can actually add a few seconds to the end. Here we have a beautifully immersive set of nature videos and you can see the possibility of having video integrated seamlessly into the creative process. Now this is a very interesting idea coming out of Adobe, which is where you can take a reference shot and create a different shot from a different angle of the same scene. So here we have the original footage, and then you can see that they've generated a close-up of what the protagonist is actually seeing. And this is a very interesting application of AI video to be asking it to imagine what does this scene look like from different points of view. And that really opens up a whole host of 
possibilities for creating with AI video. And then you can see here the demonstration of combining these two shots together to create a seamless experience. Now, this is great if you're out shooting in the field and you just get one shot of a situation. You can then ask the AI to generate some other seamless clips that you can put in. Now, they're also demonstrating their own approach to VFX where you can be generating green screen elements like this flame and then integrating them seamlessly into your shots. So you can see here, we've got the animated flame going behind and also in front of this dancing dude. Now, the styles that I see this Adobe Firefly video model really excelling at include these very illustrative and animated styles. And that's likely because the Adobe video model has been trained on the entire Adobe stock library, which is comprehensively full of illustrations, drawings, and animations. It's also rendering text effectively. And the realism is incredible. Just look at these fine individual hairs. So to join the waitlist, all you have to do is come to the Adobe blog page, go to join the waitlist, input your details, and submit. Now, I would love to give you a little quote that in inspired me this morning. And that is, creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes. Art is knowing which ones to keep. And this was from the creator of Dilbert. And what I love about this quote is the idea that it's important to experiment, to allow ourselves to be free. And these new tools, specifically Runway Gen 3, vid to vid are giving us more possibilities than ever before. And we have the opportunity to experiment, to play. And of course, Many of these experiments are not going to work out well, but it comes down to our taste, our acumen, and our decision-making to select the ones which are worth exploring further. So my invitation to you is to experiment, to explore, and to try out different styles, different approaches, and different creative opportunities that are present with AI. And if you are interested in learning more about the creative potential of AI filmmaking, do check out my academy in the description below. I would love to see you there. But most of all, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I wish you a delightful day.